Bills on vaccination mandate exemptions and redistricting have reached the governor's desk. But the governor says he won't be signing any of them. Teach for 11 Sarah Herbakowitz shares what the future of those laws could look like from the Capitol. At his weekly press briefing, Governor Asa Hutchinson expressed concern with the bills passed in last week's special session, but said he'll let them go into law just without his signature. Last week, the House and Senate met for a special session focused on redistricting. And after much debate, let's hear your motion. Two bills passed with a new map to determine voter representation. But Governor Hutchinson says he's skeptical, specifically on how Pulaski County was split up. Removal of minority areas in Pulaski County into two different congressional districts does raise concerns. The governor kept a similar attitude towards the off topic bills from the special session vaccination mandate exemptions. Quite a bit of back and forth on this. The proposed worker funded COVID testing replacement comes ahead of President Biden's vaccine mandate for larger companies. The debate on these bills have been harmful to our goal of increasing vaccination rates in Arkansas. Although unsupportive of these bills, he's taking a step back, not using his veto power and letting the next phase of this debate happen in the courts. Let them go into law without my signature. This will enable those who wish to challenge the redistricting plan in court uh, to do so. Up next here at the Capitol, a special session on taxes. And similarly to what we saw at the redistricting special session, it's expected that some off topic bills will be proposed and really lengthen out that process. For now, reporting at the Capitol, Sarah Backwoods, THV 11 News.